This fight between Cain Velasquez and Junior Dos Santos is the end to the most exciting trilogy in UFC heavyweight history. I think we both are at the top of our game right now, especially in the uh, heavyweight division. Big right here by in the first part of the trilogy, Cain Velasquez came into the fight as the champion. We all knew about Junior Dos Santos' striking prowess, his knockout power, and his speed, and he went out there and utilized it immediately, knocking out Cain Velasquez in the first round. The new USC heavyweight champion. In that time, Cain was undefeated and was good to be the first guy to beat him, you know? And now I think it's gonna be even better to beat him again. <laughs> He is the only guy to ever beat me. He beat me once and that's it. That's all he's getting. In the second fight, Cain Velasquez came in looking like a completely different fighter. He was determined to get revenge against Dos Santos, and he did exactly that for 25 minutes straight, showing that he is perhaps the most well-conditioned fighter we have ever seen in the heavyweight division. I'm an aggressive fighter. You know? I'm always in your face. I'm throwing something at you, whether it's the boxing, whether it's the kickboxing, whether it's the wrestling, I'm always going forward. Although Cain Velasquez comes from a very high level wrestling background, he puts together some of the best combinations that I've ever seen. And I'm not sure Junior DeSantos really respected those striking skills in the second fight. Wow! I'm trying to throw everything at him. You know, when he thinks I'm gonna box with him, that's how I'm gonna wrestle with him. When he thinks I'm gonna wrestle with him, that's how I'm gonna kickbox with him. So I'm gonna do everything. Junior DeSantos showed an amazing will, determination, and heart in that second fight. He kept on coming and looked for a way to win that fight against Velasquez. He came up short that night, but you could see he truly has the heart of a champion. All the time, I'm gonna give my best. Even if I'm having hard times during the fight, I'm gonna try to finish the fight. He did an excellent job of defending the takedowns. He did an excellent job of getting back to his feet throughout that fight. That was tough for me, but I learned a lot from that, you know, and I'm coming better for this rematch. He needs to stay on his feet, thwart the wrestling attempts of Cain Velasquez, and when he has his chance, he needs to look for the knockout. Yeah, right on the butt! I'm more powerful than Cain Velasquez. When I hit people, they go down. He already tasted, and I want to show him this part of me again. I still know what that feeling is like, and I don't want that feeling back again. I want to hold that belt. I want to keep that belt. And I want to stay on the top of the totem pole. Still UFC heavyweight champion. He's getting better all the time, and I'm working hard to do the same, you know, to get better and show him who is the real number one, you know, who is the real champion. We are here to make history, and I am going to go home with my belt. I'm not sure how it'll be remembered, but I am going to come out on top. There is a lot of bad blood between Roy Nelson and Daniel Cormier. They've been going back and forth on Twitter. They've argued back and forth. They both really want this fight, and they want to knock each other out. I wanted to fight with Roy Nelson because of all these things that have happened outside the cage. He called me Uncle Tom. He says he wants to beat me up for Uncle Dana. He doesn't want to do it on his own. He wants to do it for somebody else. We got to fight now, you know, so you can say whatever you want. At the end of the day, you'll respect me for what I can do. I don't try to harvest any emotion. Like, I was like, oh, I got to be mad and hate this guy. Like, but if you piss me off, I have no problem actually hitting you a little bit more than normal. He has to go in that cage October 19th knowing that he can back up everything he said and he can beat me, which is something nobody has proven they can do yet. Not only is Daniel Cormier undefeated in 12 fights, but from the very beginning, he has been thrown in there against unbelievable fighters, and all he has done is win. The years that I was completely set on my goals in wrestling, I was fourth in the world, fifth in the world, and third in the world, you know? So it doesn't matter who's standing across the cage from me, I can get through just about anything. Cormier is a guy who has shown excellent skills both on the ground and with his striking. I think I hit a lot of the guys I fight because I don't stop punching. When they're done punching, I'm still punching. Daniel Cormier wants to get a win and stay undefeated in the UFC at heavyweight before he moves down to 205 pounds. Win or lose, I'm going to 205. I know Kane's going to be the champion for a while. So I would love to be pursuing that belt, chasing that belt. I wouldn't be where I am today without Kane. Why would I ever want to try and hurt him? Why would I ever want to try and take his belt? That's stupid. You don't do that to someone that actually helps you as much as he does. 
Roy Nelson wants a shot at the belt at heavyweight. Beating Daniel Cormier will really make him a contender again in that division. I'm one of the only guys that can wrestle, knock you out. I got jiu-jitsu. I have a complete forte when it comes to what mixed martial arts is all about. He has one punch knockout power, and he's going to look to test the chin of Daniel Cormier in this fight. If I can punch him in his face and knock him out, that's great. But if I can't, I take him down, beat him up from there, that's great too. In no instance will there be a time where we're going to be staying in a fight and then Roy Nelson takes me down. I'm going to be more agile. I'm going to be faster. I think you're going to see him plodding forward and me just moving around popping him. I just want to go in there, throw one punch, and then he goes down. I just want to fight for the belt. I know what's in my cards. I'm gonna beat Roy Nelson because I'm better than him. I don't believe Roy Nelson's time has passed him. I just believe that it's my time to be at the top of the sport. This fight between Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez is a fight between two of the best 155 pounders in the world today. Him and I are two guys that rather get knocked out in the process than, than run for the day. This fight is gonna be a war. Both of these men have fought for the belt at 155 pounds in the UFC. Both have very similar styles. Both are extremely aggressive and realize they win puts them back on that path to fight for the title again. There's a lot at stake for me in this fight. Definitely my career, my legacy. I'm one impressive performance away from maybe getting that title shot. I really feel like the fans have motivated me. You know, they made me believe that I am the champ. Gilbert Melendez comes from a wrestling background, but is probably best known for his striking. He is an excellent boxer. He has crazy power for a 155 pounder. And many people believe that he actually beat Benson Henderson for the belt in his last fight. I feel like I'm fighting the uncrowned champ right now. I haven't lost for a few years. I went like seven in a row winning, and that was my first loss. But on that loss, I got more credibility than ever in any of my fights. So a lot of good came out of it. Whether he fights at 170 or at 155, Diego Sanchez delivers excitement. He is a tremendous jiu-jitsu practitioner. He's very dangerous on the ground. He has excellent positioning and possesses some of the nastiest ground and pound that you will see in the octagon. He's an amazing grappler, amazing wrestler. His striking is deadly because he'll take three punches just to give you one. You know, he has a great chin. So I think he's a complete MMA fighter and a really good warrior. Sanchez looks tremendous. Diego Sanchez and I have history, you know, good history. When I lived in San Diego, Gil would come down and train with me. No matter what type of training we were doing, something special would happen every round. Me and him bringing out the best in each other. I'm a high intensity guy. Diego's a high intensity guy, so it was like two bulls in a cage going at it. And I always knew if me and Gilbert fought, it was gonna be a good fight. I think we're equal at pushing ourselves and testing our heart. Gilbert has heart, he has a great chin, and he has great conditioning. And I believe that I possess all those three assets the same, but I don't think he's faced the level of competition that I have for the past eight years in the UFC. Wow! I'm gonna be ready to stand and bang and fight with all my heart and soul. I think Diego knows he's not gonna have much of a choice but to strike it out with me. I'm gonna hit him right in that kisser, dude, and, and we'll see where it takes it. Diego's really, 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 really good fighter, but I think I'm one of the greats, and I think that'll be the difference. Not only will I defeat Gilbert Melendez, I will dominate Gilbert Melendez. I'll be ready for his striking, I'll be ready for his wrestling, I'll be ready for his grappling. Bring whatever you got. Kane Velasquez, Junior Dos Santos, for the heavyweight championship. He's hurt! Kane goes down! A new heavyweight champion! This is the real Kane Velasquez. I'm gonna come back and take my belt again. They will settle the score.